I realize that you know to improve quality of life for human, we need things that do not exist in nature. And since those things don't exist in nature, somebody has to make them. So I got really fascinated with manufacturing and I chose manufacturing as my career. My dad was a mechanical engineer, so I was always interested in hands-on um, doing something and uh, trying to fabricate something. I remember like the first time I had a 3D printer, like I thought that was the coolest thing I had ever seen. When I wanted to do my PhD, I wanted to tackle a hard problem. Like what can robots really help solve? And that's what got me into manufacturing is I realized manufacturing is that hard problem. So our group uh, developed advanced manufacturing processes uh, at micro nano scale using planar uh, microfabrication, various 2D and 3D manufacturing, self-assembly of materials. We developed these processes to make unconventional structures and functional devices, particularly flexible electronics. So lots of new things now which are beginning to happen in manufacturing which basically makes personalization or customization very cost effective. So additive is playing a role, robotics and automation is playing a big role in it. All the new advances which are happening in artificial intelligence and machine learning. In the next maybe 10 years, we're gonna see more of additive manufacturing get used uh, in various applications. For additive manufacturing in our lab, we develop new processes and utilize new type of materials. A lot of application is centered around the uh, medical application. As a group, we mainly focus on using robots to do complex manufacturing tasks. With the help of you know, AI and robotics, what we try to do is we try to autonomously make new parts with very quick changeovers, specifically processes like uh, composites or surface finishing, which require automation quite a bit. Letting the robot do some of the hard works that human has to do and let the humans do more value-added tasks. That's why my research is more focused on human-robot interaction, how humans can safely work with robots. Some of these techniques are heavily labor-intensive, and some of them might be even hazardous for human health. So why not use robots to automate those techniques? For my current project, I'm trying to learn motion constraints for optimizing the cycle time for pick-and-place operation. Once we can get AI to be smarter, to understand the physics of these manufacturing processes, they can help humans make decisions. And humans can then focus on like the really important value-added tasks, and we can have AI and robots do all the more menial, dull decisions that we need to take in the manufacturing process. Manufacturing automation can make products more affordable, give significant consistency and quality, enable all kind of innovation, and also make sure that humans don't have to do ergonomically challenging job. And uh, with that, hopefully, we'll be able to give everyone what they're looking for.